Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a smooth zoom transition with a blur effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So to get better playback in the timeline, I'm going to select my two clips, right click them, and choose Generate Optimized Media. Okay, so now if we scrub through the timeline or I select a place and hit play, we're going to get much better video playback. So the next thing we're going to need to do because of the nature of creating a transition is that we're going to have to shave part of the end of this left clip and part of the start of this right clip off of the original stock footage. So if we left click on the edge of one of these clips, we can see a red line. That means there's no extra video information beyond what we have in the timeline. And that won't do when you're doing a transition. So we have to kind of trim this inwards. So I'm going to hit T to go into trim mode. I'm going to drag this over and you can see a white box gets created that becomes kind of our buffer from the source video file. And then on this right clip, I'm going to bring it in as well about a second. So now later, if we need to add any kind of transitions directly onto the these two clips will be able to do so. The next thing I want to do is bring in a sound effect that we can use for this transition. So I'm going to be bringing in this whoosh sound. We're only going to use the first whoosh because we really don't need three, but I'm going to drag this under the timeline. I'm going to put it below audio track one onto audio track two. And now we can kind of zoom in and see this. So we're going to want this audio effect, the loudest part to match up on this cut line, since that's going to be kind of the action moment. So I'm going to uh, drag the audio waveforms here until it lines up there perfectly. Also cut away the extra whoosh sounds. We don't need those. So now we can play the sound effect. So that will do nicely for a zoom type effect. What we need to add now is a adjustment clip and we do that above video track two and we're going to add it above video track one so that it sits on video track two and adjusts the clips below it. So it'll affect both this left clip and the right clip. So we can find it in the effects library if we go to effects and then adjustment clip. So I'm going to drag this on here. I'm also going to kind of snap the edges to the sound effect. We don't need it to be a longer duration than that. So I'll also shorten the duration on this right side. So it's only going to be for this little transition here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to where the sound starts to kind of take off a little bit and I can actually uh, expand the audio check too so we can see that clearer. We're going to want the zoom and the position changes on the adjustment clip layer to start at about the same time that the sound effect starts coming in. So lining things up here, I'm going to have the adjustment clip selected, go to zoom, keyframe it, position keyframe it by clicking on those little gray diamonds. Now we can go to the right side of that sound effect right around here and we'll keyframe it there as well with the default values. This will mark basically the starting and ending of the transition. And then right here in the center is where we're going to want to be very zoomed in. Now what's really going to be important here for having a smooth transition is that on both clips is that there's a color we can focus on where it looks pretty similar in both clips so that it's harder to tell that we made a cut between the two clips. So in this case, we're going to use the boy's jacket, which is blue. And then on the left clip, we obviously have the C. So those are quite similar in texture and color, so it will work nicely. So at this cut point, and we're looking at the first frame of the right side, I'm going to zoom in. You'll notice that the keyframe gets created immediately here because we already had existing keyframes. So I'm going to zoom in really far to like uh, 13 or 14 times zoom. And then I'm going to adjust the position until we have basically pure blue. Now in the timeline, I'm going to hit left to go one frame over and see what the final frame on the left clip is going to look like. Now, if you don't see the right color, like the area you actually want to focus on, you can adjust the position further until you can find that color. So just kind of seek it out. Uh, the important thing is that the final frame on the left side and the first frame on the right side basically match each other. So we can go ahead and play this now as it stands right now. So we get that nice zoom in and the better the selection of the color on both sides, the smoother that's going to look. Now one way you can make it smoothly transition from the left clip to the right clip here, uh, in addition to the zoom is to add in a smooth cut. So if we go to effects library, video transitions and smooth cut, we can put this onto the clip. I am going to select this transition with left click and make it something much smaller, like four or six frames. And now let's go ahead and play it with the smooth transition. 
so hopefully what you'll see happen is that the colors will kind of morph from one screen to the other, but it will be hard to pick up on that morphing because the colors are already so similar on both sides. So let's go ahead and play that one more time. And ideally that's going to look really smooth and nice for you. So one more thing we can add to this is going to be a zoom blur. So we're going to add this to the adjustment clip and we can find that in open effects in the effects library, zoom blur, drag that onto the clip. Uh, what you should see happen is kind of these motion blur lines on the edges uh, by default. You may have a bit of a black border there. So we're going to customize the settings over on open effects and you left click the adjustment clip and then you click inspector open effects to get over here. First off, we're going to want to go to the first frame of the adjustment clip and decide what a good default smooth strength is going to be um, because remember right before this adjustment clip uh, we have no blur whatsoever so to jump straight to 0.4 might be a little bit strong i'm gonna start it at let's say 0.15 and then keyframe it so now if we go one frame before with left click and one frame after it looks a lot less of a crazy jump so likewise i'll go to the final frame here and i'll keyframe it there as well same smooth strength and now we want to go at the action point and set a new smooth strength so i'm going to make this something quite strong because at that point there's a lot of movement with the zoom so there should be a little more blurriness to kind of fake that motion blur kind of look you likely may also decide that this border type of black isn't what you want so you can change that from uh black i think i was using replicate earlier so if you go to like a different frame you can get an idea of what that might look like let's change it to reflect and then wrap around. I think reflect or replicate looks best in this case. So we'll just go with that. And um, as long as you set the keyframes, it's going to animate the properties. So let's go ahead and hit play with the animated zoom blur. And let's play it one more time. Uh, actually, the final keyframe, I set that at the wrong point. Remember that we want the zoom to end right about the same time the sound effect does. So I think we need to change some keyframes here. So 0.15, I'll uh, click on the keyframe thing. So we have that set lined up with the right side there. And I will hit the right arrow on this keyframe to remove it from the end. So now that looks more proper there. So at this point, you can just basically watch your clip a few times, make sure everything lines up. If you have a sound effect for it to work nicely, you'll really need to get the keyframes tied in with the sound effects so that they are synchronized with each other. So watch it back multiple times, make sure everything lines up well. So if everything goes smoothly and it looks good, that's going to be everything you need to do to create a smooth zoom in transition with a zoom blur effect added on to make it look a little nicer. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.